and this is the weekend edition. That was my dramatic intro to the weekend edition. Good through Sunday, June 11, 2017, and on Friday, the markets in mixed. Mixed. Dow hitting all time record high. NASDAQ down 2.5%. Apple took it on the chin. And we might look at some tech stocks here later on. Small caps, though, up a half a percent. So all over the place. But banks up, financials up nearly 2%. That's just huge. U.S. dollar higher, crude oil higher by 0.64%. Gold lower, silver lower. Oh, man, I've been say, I've called sales on those guys. And then the VIX fear increasing by more than 5%. That's big, big, big. We're going to be looking at a lot of charts, so stay with me. Stay with me. Okay. We did this webinar not too long ago about day trading. People are like, oh, I don't day trade. I swing trade. What is swing tra trading? That is simply where you buy a stock. You hold it for two days, up to two weeks. I mean, you hold them for a while. So I actually put together. I have, I'm in the process of it. I haven't fully put it together yet, but the demand's there. I'm just going to do it, okay? So I'm going to do a <laughs> faith confession here. By Thursday... I'm going to be doing and have a very cool webinar for you on how to quickly find stock picks. A lot of people have a hard time finding stock picks, and I'm going to be doing a webinar on how to quickly find stock picks without spending a huge amount of time looking for them. Okay, so right there, go to this URL. That's goo, G O O dot g l forward slash s capital o z little z capital n capital i capital q there it is all right let's get to some stocks this is the s p 500 etf and wow what a crazy day we went up we crashed down by days in we came about back above this area of support this trend line is still acting as support we do have a high base now on a daily chart gang this could be explosive to the upside. However, if we break below this trend line, that's going to be bearish. So you have to be ready for that, okay? I'm going to be looking at the weekly chart, see if we can see anything on the weekly on the S&P. Well, here's what we see. I still have a buy on this, but that is a big fat rising wedge. Look for that to break down, and we do have a bearish divergence here. Now, what's interesting here, I'm going to bring this to your attention Look how the MACD line and the signal line have come together. Now we have a chance of that crossing, and if it crosses, it'll start heading down, downward. The histograms are giving us positive ticks here. Do you see that? This, there's a line coming across that you really can't see, but this is a zero line. If we cross there, we'll get a negative tick to the lower side of the zero line. If that happens, then this bearish divergence on the MACD centered oscillator will help this be that it will be a byproduct of this thing starting to break down on the weekly chart. So we could be getting very toppy here in the markets. So that's all I want to say. Now the mar the month just getting started for first nine days, 10 days of the month. And yeah, it's looking pretty healthy here. Very, very healthy, but we're extended. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, it's eight bars the upside, um, seven more. I'd feel more, you know, I, uh, seven months going up. So really, um, yeah, everything's looking good, but I, it's just starting to feel a little toppy to me. I'm going to go to the NASDAQ. NASDAQ's kind of important here. So the daily on the NASDAQ already broke down. So we had a buy here. Up, 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 up. Now I'm going to put a big fat red sell. Now there's my sell on this one. We've been buy, 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 buy. Now it's a big fat sell. We, this dude is in trouble. NASDAQ is in trouble. Bad. Let's see what the weekly is doing. The weekly on the NASDAQ is dropping. I'm not ready to put a sell on that yet. Not on the weekly. Not on the weekly. Not going to do it. Let's see what the monthly is showing. 
monthly still still bullish above an area of resistance here so we're gonna stay with the bullish even though it's the first red candle we've had since september no october october of last year so it's been a while since we had a red month but we're starting off red here in june for the nasdaq okay now small caps are very important to me i want to see because a lot of times the whatever the small caps are doing the other markets will do later here's the deal we popped up 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 we come back down looking a little toppy but we're still above an area of resistance so it's not bad if you go here to weekly chart we smashed our head at resistance okay so let me show you this Big time rising wedge. We try to break over resistance and then we smash our head right at resistance. So this has a good chance of dropping. So the weekly could be bearish, guys. That is what I'm sharing with you. And oh boy, we got a lot to go over. If you haven't done it yet, mark this link down and and uh, we'll see you Thursday. It's Thursday night at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. Eastern, so it's 5.30 Pacific. Oh... Uh, yeah, man, it's, I've got some cool stuff to add, add to that. All right, quick look here at the banks. This is a monthly banks. I called this saying, oh, I think it's going to go higher. Sure enough, it has. Let me get rid of that. There's the pop higher. I had a sell, but now I'm going to put a buy on the – oh, this is a weekly, bad, rather, weekly, 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 weekly here on the banks so there's my buy on the weekly financials i have a buy on it i'm gonna stay with my buy on the financials and yeah there they are so let's go over here to crude oil now crude oil called it a sell but what's interesting is it got back up above a resistance line right there that is very interesting to see very interesting. I wonder if I should put a buy on that right now. Let me see. Oh, boy. Nope, not willing to do that. Not yet. This is a daily chart. Let's go to the weekly. Yeah, that's why I definitely not doing a buy. So we did break down. I have to put a sell on the weekly now. We broke that support line. So you're a definite sell. There's my sell signal so um, this I did a buy here and a sell so got this one turned around was a, a weren't perfect calls but anytime you're inside a consolidation going sideways that's just that's just the flavor of what to expect and the monthly the monthly I do expect it to bounce in let's see if it will do that oops let's see if it will do that I'm using trading view by the way so I call it a sell and it's still dropping. I do expect it to go up. Um, so let's see if we get down to this area of support. I do see it heading back up. I see a lot of support there. All right. Now, gold. A lot of you guys like to look at gold here. Gold, I call it a sell. This is a daily chart on gold. Down, down, and down. I'll add another line from here to there. Okay. It's a nice bull pullback. We do, ah, boy, could this be a buy opportunity? Yes, we have an inverted hammer right here. And that could be a bull pullback ready to go to the upside, but we do have big time resistance. So it's not one that I would call a buy by any stretch of imagination. So I still have a sell on gold. Let's see what the weekly is got going for us. Oh, we popped up over resistance. Look at this. And now we came back down. Oh man, I'm going to go out and say now on the weekly gold is a sell, at least short term. Let's see what the monthly is showing. Monthly is looking good, guys. Monthly is still good. We popped up, it looked glorious here for a while. And but we're just basing sideways, but we're basing sideways. This is a bullish base, so that's pretty good. Silver, silver, silver daily. Called it a sell a few sessions back, Wednesday on my birthday, and it has crashed and burned, but we have the rising 20-day moving average. It could get a bounce here, so I'll put a buy on the daily, but let's see what the weekly's got for us. The weekly dropping. I'm going to also add a sell to the weekly. The weekly's just looking very bearish to me. So if I look here on the monthly, 
monthly, I think it's going to go higher. So monthly has a good chance of going higher if we can stay above this red line. Very important that we stay above 16 on SLV. <clears throat> I'm going to look at some... I'm gonna look at some tech stocks, tech stocks, Grok tech stocks. And Apple took it on the chin. So let me get over here to the daily chart. Here's the daily chart. Now here's the deal. Apple is a big fat sell, okay? So if you're in Apple, yeah, no, that's no good. Technically speaking here, Amazon, a big fat sell. Amazon, oh man, what a bloodbath um baba oh that's fine cisco oh boy that's a mess let's see here i call this a sell too ebay oh man another sell i mean tech stocks nobody wants these Nobody wants tech stocks. Man, share this video, guys. This is bad news for techs. I mean, wow, this is sell city. Sell city. Google, Google with L. Come on, keep up with me. I hate when my computer and internet does not keep up with me. I had my internet, man. I, I went from cable and I had five megs and then my five megs, which was upgraded. Now I'm at 500 megs with fiber and it is lightning fast and i've got 88 gigs of memory so this dude's a screamer and i just need things to move faster i'm gopro let's see what's going on gopro that's fine microsoft actually that's fine I'm not going to call it a sell um nvidia the big fat sell okay get out of nvidia this has been a good run no you should not have that anymore Oracle, who trades that? Nobody. But anyway, let's go to PayPal. Oh, PayPal. Ouch. I'm going to put a sell on it. Oh, Red Hat, big fat sell. Snap. Yeah, man, I've, I think I've had a sell on this from a long time ago. Um, if you guys remember, do you remember this back when and I said, look, and I posted it on Facebook. You can go to facebook.com forward slash grok trade. But I posted this way back in uh, March. And I said, look for this to go higher. And it went boom, 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 boom. It just shot straight up. Did really, really well here. Chopped around and then came back down. And it's just Snapchat. Is, what a disappointment. What a joke that's been. Twitter. Um, yeah, I'm going to put sell on Twitter even though I mean it's a head and shoulder see it shoulder head and shoulder it's just in trouble so there it is techs are just sell those dudes across the board do not be holding tech going into the near future share the video people are going to appreciate this good stuff here but um, join, join us on Thursday if you want to know how to find stocks quickly on which are the best stocks to trade and yeah be ready to take notes i'm going to give you a ton of information so you'll enjoy it there it is catch you guys later like if you like it